All right, what's up guys? I'm creating this video um, because a lot of us are having some struggles with staying organized and managing our lead flow and stuff like that. As we continue to get more leads to come in, it does become a challenge to stay on top of our leads and a great solution to that is to just be more organized. So I wanna kind of go through uh, some tips on how to use FirePoint um, to really keep yourself organized. So um, what we wanna look at guys is, is number one, making sure we are categorizing our leads correctly, um, making sure we are tagging them, and then using filters and bookmarks to be able to access the different categories really, really quickly. Um, this is a game changer. If you really take this serious and just treat every single lead this way, you will stay on top of all your leads. You will convert more leads. Things will not slip through the cracks. And ultimately, you will, you know, close more deals and make more money and service more clients. So um, I'm going to use an example. I had a one on one with uh, Mauricio and I'm going to use him as an example because I know a lot of people have the same exact issue. Um, if you look right now, guys, total on our Firepoint, we have over 11,000 leads. This is the whole company here. And so that's going to be a mix of, you know, all the different agents, the lead that they have on in their own Firepoint. There's the general pond. And then we are creating individual pawns for agents. So uh, let's look here. So I'm going to use Mauricio as an example. And he's currently working on implementing the system so he can stay on top of his leads. But if I go to filter and just pull up Mauricio's leads, uh, let's look at Mauricio. And I'm going to say, just apply all. Uh, so currently, if you look at this number at the top, Mauricio has 335 leads here in his FirePoint. And as you can see, just looking at the first page, he has some that are hot, some that are appointment set, nurture, cold, all these different things. So let me just pick on this lead right here. It's Elmina Gonzalez. Let's pull her up. And let me show you how you can use PowerPoint to really stay organized. So number one is using the statuses here. Uh, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to use probably these three here, either hot, nurture, or cold as a status. So a hot lead, what I would say a hot lead is you spoke to someone and they told you they're looking to make a move, whether it's buy or sell within the next maybe 30 to 90 days, within the next one to three months. And I would even, you know, maybe even say just 30 days. This way you can categorize your hot ones as like the hot ones that are immediately looking to make a move in the next 30 days. And then you can, you know, move everything else to like a nurture. So let's say hot leads is going to be 30 days out. Anything that's a nurture is going to be uh, 30 days and beyond. Um, and you can categorize as categorize those as a nurture. Um, and let's say you just wanted to use those two categories, a hot or a nurture, right? Because if someone's hot, that means they told you they want to transact. If someone's a nurture, that means you got to keep following up with them and check in on them. Um, you can use cold if you want, but I just think if you use too many categories, it does make it a little more confusing. So I'd rather just keep it simple and go hot or nurture. Um, maybe cold is just that, like if you never talk to them or you haven't you know, qualified them at all, but you can also use nurture for that. So hope that's not too confusing, but the key is just keep it simple. If you keep it simple, it's easier to follow. Um, the next thing is you're going to want to use tags. So tags is another way to build categories as well. Um, so let's say you you tag all you have all your statuses as either hot or nurture, and then you use tags depending on what you've done with that client. So you can use tags to like uh, say actively searching, or you signed an agreement, or if they've already bought or sold. These are like secondary or sub notes that you're going to want to apply. Maybe it's a hot seller, so you want to just kind of be able to filter it that way. Um, maybe it's an appointment set where you've already set an appointment. You can see here. Um, that's a good tag to add because let's say it's a hot lead, but you haven't set the appointment yet, but you know they're ready to go and you just need to follow up with them and you know they're going to transact, but you haven't set the appointment. So, um, or vice versa, let's say it is a hot one and you did set the appointment and you put that tag on there and now you can easily filter that out. So let's say for this one, I categorize it as hot and I also categorized it as appointment set. Um, they're going to buy. Uh, and sell. It's up to you if you want to use these, but I would just I'll maybe take these off. So all I got is it's hot and it's an appointment set. 
Um, so if you go through all your leads and just categorize them all that way, let's go back to kind of his, his page with all his leads. Um, then what you'll do is you're, you're really just organizing your leads because anything that's not a hot, let's say I want to put it as a nurture. So let's say this guy, Juana, this one, Juana Contreras. This is a nurture. I spoke to her. She's not looking to do anything for maybe six months out. So I'm going to put her as a nurture. Um, I can also add a tag. Maybe she's a buyer or maybe she's a seller. Uh, maybe it's an investor, maybe whatever. It's your SOI or database and use these kind of subcategories. But now I got that as a nurture. Um, another thing that you can do, especially if you have a bunch of leads like this, where like Mauricio has 335 leads, you're going to have to spend some time cleaning this up. So he's probably going to have to spend an hour or two sitting down and kind of cleaning these up. But a quick way to clean these up is just to use a mass action to change all the statuses on there. So let's say I look through this page and I want to just categorize all my hot ones. So let's say this one's a hot, this guy's hot, and this is just statuses, right? Cole, this one's actually a hot, whatever. I select five or 10 or however many on this page. And I scroll to the bottom. Then what you can do, let's say you want to select all of them, you know, whatever you want to do. Once you select them all, you can do select an action and then you can say set lead status. So you're going to set lead status and I want to make sure all of these have a hot status because these are all my hot ones, right? So you have to take the time to go through all your leads and pick the ones that are hot and then you can mass change all the statuses to hot. Once I click assign, it's going to change all of those to hot. Then I'll go back and I'll do the same thing to change all the other ones to nurture, right? So, okay, this one's a nurture, this one's a nurture. Anything that's not hot is basically going to be a nurture, right? So I'll select all these, this one, this one, or any of them that are miscategorized. I'll say this one's actually supposed to be a nurture. This one's actually supposed to be a nurture too. Or maybe someone you just haven't talked to in a while and you don't know what it is, so just throw it as a nurture. Select an action change the status again, and change all of these to nurture. Bam. I hit assign. It's going to change them all to nurture. So now what I've done effectively is, is I've, you know, kind of put these into the two different categories, you know, in a quicker way. And this is now where the next step is going to come into play, where you want to do filters and you want to create bookmarks so that you can easily access these different category of leads. So if I go to filter the leads, I'm clicking on Maori. You won't have to enter yourself when you go in here because you don't, you're not an admin, but you pull up your leads and now you can select all the ones that are hot. Okay, so anything that's categorized as hot and then I can just hit apply and you can see out of Mauricio's 300 leads, 335 leads, he has 93 of them that are hot. I'm assuming once he goes through these and cleans them all up, a lot of those hot ones are gonna be moved to nurture and he might have a smaller list, maybe 15 or 20. Um, so you gotta clean them up first. But now once I've cleaned that up and I've created this filter, what I can do now is I can bookmark this page here. So when you bookmark this page, if I just apply a bookmark, I can say hot leads, whatever, Firepoint, or however you want to categorize, whatever you want to title this, but basically these are my hot leads. And I will hit done. And now it creates, let's do this, I hit done. And now it creates a bookmark. So what I can do is I can find that bookmark and I can move it up to the top of my list, or I could even take this one. Um, let me see, I'm sorry, the hot leads Firepoint. I can take this one and I can put this up here on my little bookmark tab um, and I have that there. Or you can probably even make this a bookmark in one of these tabs up here. Either way, you're making it just easily accessible so that all you got to do is click on this. And you're not going to have to log in and filter again. You already saved that filter as a bookmark. And basically, this is your short list of people you got to the hot ones, right? The people you got to follow up with consistently uh, who are ready to transact in the next 30 days.
Then what I'll do is I will go back to all my leads. I'm going to get rid of that hot filter and I'm now going to filter all my nurtures. So anything that's a nurture, after I've already cleaned everything up and categorized them the right way, we have 160 that are nurture. So now I'll do that again. I will go bookmark, let's see, the star bookmark. And I'll say nurture leads firepoint. Okay, done. Now this is another bookmark. I'm gonna take this, drag it up here. So it's on this little tab up here. So as you can see, I have a filter now for hot leads. I have a filter now for nurture leads. And then what we can do is we can take it a step further. So for each person on the team, I can actually create your own individual pond. So I'm gonna to go to ponds. And if you need a pond to be created, you have to let me know and I'll create your own pond. But some of the people on the team already have their ponds created. I just created one for Mauricio. Here's his pond here. So now what Mauricio can do is he can go back to his leads let me go back to where I was at, get rid of this filter. And whichever leads he wants to move to the pond, let's say maybe like, maybe in the pond, these are leads like you haven't talked to in a bit and you don't even know what they are. Um, or maybe these are like your, your past clients and you don't want these kind of commingled with your active leads that you're trying to work. So you want to put all your past clients into your pond, right? So I, let's say these were all past clients and I'll select all these ones. And I'll go down, select an action, move leads to a pond. And then I can say, I wanna move all these to Mauricio's pond. That will show up once I create your pond and I can hit assign and it's gonna take all those leads and move them into the pond. So now you're not gonna basically see those all mixed in with the rest of your leads. Once you click on your pond, you can go ahead and create a filter again and put that filter up here if you want to as well. So basically you can have a hot leads filter, a nurture leads filter and a pond leads filter. Now here's the thing with ponds guys is what's happening a lot of times is since we have so many leads coming in, a lot of people are, are holding on to leads. It does not make sense for you to hold on to leads if you're not going to work those leads, right? It's better for you to just maybe even get those out and throw them back into the general pond so that other people can work those and try to hunt on those leads uh, or move them to your pond. Like let's say you're a senior agent and you, you know, you're running one of the squads and you have some of your junior agents helping you nurture some of your leads. You can do that as well. But just think about it, guys. We have so many leads coming in um, every single day, every single month. It's like having, you know, a room or a messy drawer, right? One of those drawers at home where you just throw all your junk into your mess, right? It, after a while, it becomes so messy that you don't even want to go in there. Um, so having more leads in your, you know, your pond or in your fire point, it doesn't benefit you because it just makes this big old mess. And when it's messy, it's harder to manage. It's harder to look at your leads. And you're, gonna, you're not going to want to go in there and actively work your leads in Firepoint because it's just a mess. And you got to have that abundance mentality of, you know, leads are coming in every single day. You're going to get more leads. The key is not how many leads can you get. The key is when I do get a lead, how can I make sure I stay organized and how can I work that lead to the fullest so I make sure I convert it at the highest level. So 335 leads is way too many leads to manage, right? We should have maybe a category of hot leads where maybe you got 25 or less that are hot and maybe you got 25 to 50 that are nurtures, um, but definitely no more than 100 leads combined with all your categories. Everything else should either be moved to a pond or just throw them back in the general pond, just get it out of your way because we're getting about 500 leads a month coming into the team. Um, each person on the team is probably getting anywhere from 10 to 30 leads, uh, depending on what lead sources they're on. So you're getting more and more and more that are just going to continue to clog up your lead flow there and you want to keep them organized. So organize yourself, spend a couple hours going in here and cleaning them up first, set the filters, and then every single day, 
in the morning, this is the first thing you need to do is you need to come in here. You need to click on your hot ones. You know, let's say I, I only have 10 or 15 on this hot, hot list. Cause these are all my, like my 30 day leads, people who are ready to make a move in 30 days. And these are the ones you got to follow up with on a daily basis, trying to get them in for an appointment or trying to set up a showing or trying to get that listing appointment or whatever it is, because they've expressed interest in making something happen. Once you've gone through those, then you can start going into your nurtures. That's your second box that you're going to hit. And you'll start maybe just following up with people depending on the notes, right? Like if, you know, if they need to be followed up with every three months or six months, or what you do is you take all of these nurtures here. Now I'm, now I'm thinking you have all your, your nurtures here. You're going to select all of them. And then you can apply a follow-up campaign, one of the text or email campaigns. So I'm going to assign a campaign. And let's say I want to do the three-month follow-up campaign, follow up every three months for one year, where it's going to text them and it's going to email them on your behalf. And I hit assign. And now I'm letting FirePoint text and email these clients every three months. So if I apply this campaign in three months, it's going to follow up and just say, hey, it's a general follow-up. You know. Hey, it's Enrique, just checking in. Do you have any questions about the real estate market? That's what it's going to do. So you can really set this thing on autopilot for you in terms of follow-up, as long as you stay organized and you make sure you categorize every single lead and you use these filters to access your leads uh, right away and easily. Um, so I hope that helps, guys. This is definitely a practice that we all need to implement. Um, organization is key. Not having too many leads is key. Having just enough leads to kind of keep your pipeline full and staying really organized so that things don't slip through the cracks. Um, if you guys have any questions or anything, hit me up. If you want me to create a pond for you, hit me up or hit up uh, our admin team. They can create a pond for you easily. Talk to you soon, guys. Thanks.